One of the country's best-known political cartoonists has been beaten up by security forces. Ali Ferzat was attacked by masked gunmen in Damascus on Thursday. Ferzat's brother says security forces broke his hands while telling him not to satirize Syria's leaders. More than 2,200 people have been killed since anti-government protests began in mid-March. Well, Ali Farzat's work has been critical of the government and has sometimes targeted the president himself. Well, in this cartoon, he pokes fun at the government's offers of dialogue while it continues the crackdown. President Bashar al-Assad there offering a cup of tea to a man while he's being beaten. Well, here a member of the security forces has crossed out the word democracy, replacing it instead with the word bloodocracy. And in this picture, we see the Minister of Internal Affairs shouting at protesters, is this an immoral protest? All protests belong in hell, he says. And finally, here's President Assad trying to hitch a lift with the Libyan leader, Muammar al-Qadhafi, trying to get away in a getaway car. Well, Murhaf Jojati is a professor of Middle East Studies at George Washington University. He says Assad's government is cracking down on many artists and intellectuals like Farzat. He has always criticized all Arab dictatorships. He uh, used to publish his cartoons uh, first in Athora, which is a state-owned newspaper, then in Tashreen, another state-owned uh, uh, paper. Uh, this time uh, uh, it uh, targets more uh, Assad, and Assad has uh, shown himself to be totally intolerant of any criticism. And so the regime has taken the violence a notch higher it is now attacking not only Ali Farzat, uh, but other intellectuals, artists, actors, actresses. Very recently, uh, the parents of Malik Jandali, a famous pianist, were beaten up. Now it is Ali Farzat. Uh, so they are afraid of giving symbols to uh, the Syrian uprising. This uh, is reflective, I think, uh, of their uh, fear uh, of losing power. So they want to take out anybody uh, who can carry large audiences.